this is very rare um this is something that i've never experienced thus far um as i was connecting with the egyptian time portal uh, which I explained on YouTube video um, that I had to uh, was clearing all this lingering energy that is effect that was affecting all the light workers and Asian wisdom keepers, um, and I was putting uh, transmuting all these glyphs that were um, still affected by these dark forces lingering and then transmuting um, and um, lighting that that those codes for protection. And this is the third time I'm recording right now. So I recorded the first one. Um, the camera got shut off. Um, and then it wasn't saved. And the second time I tried and I was almost done with it. And as I was um, to clear the energy with the clear quartz crystal before I uh, was going to wrap up, all of a sudden uh, the camera stopped. And then um, it wasn't saved everything was gone so this is the third time because the energy um, is very intense so um, second time I was trying to check uh, while I was closing my eyes check and then all, when I was almost done with my eyes open before my eyes everything was gone so um, this energy, um, transmutation, uh, transmission for your protection, anyone resonating, if you are connecting and finding this video, um, it is likely for you is what I'm going to share by Source and Gaia as a light worker, gatekeepers, wisdom keepers, okay, earth angels, divine feminine rising, star seas, that you are here especially connected to galactic federation of light gfl somehow commander ashtar is coming through for me so i'm going to put a shield of protection calling in archangel michael for protection while i do this transmission so that it is successfully recorded and shared um and also um while I was recording and sharing a little bit of transmission on YouTube for a public video, um, I didn't know whether I needed to share this on a separate one, but later I was guided to record this video separately and then um, share this on public. Um, I, I got a go ahead from Gaia. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this on YouTube. Um, but I'm going to put a shield and codes for um, people who are connecting with this to prevent any codes manipulation um, and for energy protection so that um, only for those who are connecting from the heart space is uh, to receive these codes and transmission, okay? So I may stop to make sure that it's recorded and continue and stay and then so the video may be um, like a little bit of break, but that's what I'm going to try this third time, okay? So take what resonates, okay? And this I also kept mentioning, if you have been um, connected to the energy of ancient Egypt, or if you've been you know, curious or drawn to the energy ever since you were a child, or even now, or you are working with that energy, you know that you have that timeline or the lifetime there, where you have a specific tattoo of Ra, or um, and or that Ankh symbol, or you have that, you own that jewelry uh, as a spiritual worker, whether you're a tarot reader, oracle reader, energy reader, psychic, medium, energy healer, um, however you resonate or you may not be in this profession but you have these signs uh, what I'm guided to share is that you are connected to this timeline and also a lot of the souls are connected to the Egyptian timelines are connected to the Atlantean timelines and this Atlantean timelines that we are clearing is very important for especially the upcoming US election that energy of US 
where it is holding a lot of the old timeline energy of the Atlantis right now, especially in the New York City as a blueprint. And that, that energy has to be cleared and terminated is the word that is coming. It has to be terminated um, from that point onwards with the Pluto moving into the Aquarius in November um, so that U.S. election in November, that energy, um, okay, so that um, future unfolding can take place um, in the stabilized energy of ascending and rising frequency of Gaia with a lot of um, other information that's going to be disclosed about the galactic, um, galactic lineage and to basically remold things is what is coming, okay? So uh, for now, I'm just going to press save. So continuing on, um, this energy is very intense and I had to bring up a lot of the energy as the, uh, the lifetime as Isis in the uh, timeline and then bring up the energy that I've been connecting with um, a few days before the 1010 portal that I share the little story uh, on YouTube video. Um, so this energy is very much intense and I also share that uh, in advance if you are feeling triggered with fear because of this intensity and the, the strong um, loud intensity of this energy um, and I have to gather the dark feminine energy from my um, energy field because this energy is lingering, um, the Egyptian timeline holds a lot of really, really strong, dark, spooky forces that I also shared in other YouTube videos. Um, but this was not as intense, but this was still lingering. And they wanted, Source and Gaia wanted me to clear this up with Ra. So, um, if you find yourself feeling triggered and finding... Uh, doubting this energy or suspecting or um, having certain uh, negative things coming up whether this is real or you're worried that uh, or we're afraid that if something else can be attached whether you doubt this uh, is uh, sending wrong energies or negative energies this is not for you okay this is not for you and you're not meant to receive these codes or energies and it's not going to go through your energy field because you hold that resistance, okay? So this is something that I also mentioned at the end of the previous recording, uh, attempted recording video, but I'm just going to mention all of this once again at the beginning, okay? So take whatever, take however resonates for you and discern for yourself. Um, so this is like a protection that I'm doing to transmute and transform all of these energies that are trying to seep through to manipulate um, anyone, any light workers or any um, star seeds in different areas in society, industries, um, they're there for a reason. And some, um, they're not fully awakened yet. Their third eye and upper chakras are not fully awakened and aligned. Um, and that um, when they're overworking themselves or in a certain situation, um, it may seep through affecting them um, from carrying on their mission. And it is important that they carry on this mission and we carry on this mission um, for this upcoming US election energy. Uh, that's also trying to manipulate the um, results of this election or this affecting all of this because uh, it's, uh, it's related to the Pluto in Aquarius energies and age of Aquarius, okay? So that is what is coming up and for me to share. So I'm just going to make sure that this is saved and stop here and continue. So I constantly been connecting with this energy, okay? So I'm going to make sure. So these are the codes. 
You may feel or sense this energy and if you are feeling it, you may get goosebumps. It depends. But it's clearing the energy field. Utukuakikiatakawataka Utukukuaiya so there are a lot of sneaky energies right now that I'm transmuting. So this is how uh, what I mentioned by intensity or the feelings of dark forces or that intensity aligned with that energy. Kia, you're not to touch our light workers. You're not to touch our gatekeepers, wisdom keepers, anyone working with light, everyone working with light. I'm shielding these energies and protecting all our light workers. That's why Commander Esther came through. If you're also connected to GFL, so just to make sure I'm going to save this right here. And if you are drawn to this video for some reason and this energy here, but you don't know these terms and you don't not in the spiritual community or these and that, it's okay. You're meant to be here as long as there's no suspicion and doubts with this energy. You will be drawn to this energy to receive. Because you carry a mission to clear the old energies from the Atlantean timeline and the Egyptian timeline, to reverse all these codes that were manipulated. And now we are moving into light and we need your energy. That's why the Commander Ashtar is here. Galactic Federation of light. You hold a lot of light. Open up your hearts. And I'm going to place some clearing in your third eye and crown to activate your spiritual soul awakening. Okay, I'm feeling called to do this now. Clearing your mental space. Your crown for clarity. Removal of any lower density energies in your auric field. Kuku sending all protection for all the light workers, great workers, ancient wisdom keepers right now for them to spread their codes of light, codes of peace, harmony, 
abundance, oneness, Christ consciousness energy into the playing field of energy in different dimensions and timelines and portals right now at this pivotal significant time of moving from Pluto and Capricorn to Aquarius. I'm sending protection and shielding their energy with these codes. These codes are for only for the sacred heart, the purity of the heart that is connecting anyone that is with lower intentions not to be received, be blocked from this transmission. <sighs> Okay, I'm just going to say and continue on. All the souls connected to Atlantean timelines be awakened to their mission, activate their soul gift to awaken to their higher light intentions. Remember unbothered, protected. undistracted a lot of gatekeeping energy right now Hua so that they can spread the codes of peace, the codes of light, the codes of Christ consciousness energy already embedded in their heart portal, in their soul signature to radiate to carry them protected <sighs> Galactic Federation of Light is here Commander Ashtar is here Metatron is here Archangel Michael's here. I thank all of you for assisting me right now, co-creating this in cooperation. Protecting, creating a protection around your auric field with pyrite to transmute any of the energies from old timelines. Okay. 
okay I'm just going so I made sure um, everything is saved <laughs> and then also this will be the last time that I'm going to record and if you're connecting to this energy as intensity it is as intense as it is um, you may feel all the tingling sensations or goosebumps or something of that nature not everyone may but I'm just guided to mention it use your breath to align so these energies and codes and transmission can settle down in your auric field in your energy body so it can work through to place that codes of protection from that timeline Egyptian timeline, Atlantean timeline, so that you are to carry on with your mission or to go on or align with your highest or soul mission that you came here to do, working with the lunar cycle of the North Node, South Node energy. You are safe. you're safe protected always guided continue to trust and now i'm sending energy of the love from my heart center so you can relax set the intention to settle these codes gracefully and gratefully receive embody these codes and energies to work for your highest good that is aligned with your highest timeline that is for the highest good of all with the highest intentions okay so <laughs> as intense as it was so this was basically what I had to do before when I was doing it um, few days before outside with the Neptune and the Sun Ra um, that I shared all these glyphs from the ancient timelines coming through in this time portal and then from the dark um, it was lit up with all this light so these codes can settle down in the astral and all the souls who are connected to that timeline and as I'm doing this for some reason um, suddenly it's making me cry okay every as everything is all unexpected because um, I'm connecting to all these souls in this timeline And I'm feeling their energies. And they've been working, struggling in their own ways. Um, playing this role that I also mentioned in the YouTube video of one of them, including my so-called, that I remember clearly from the Akash as my sister, the Atlantean timeline, she's now playing a per public persona in the entertainment industry and um, all of these souls um, they may not be aware they may not still remember but they're doing all this work and with this I feel this huge oneness energy that a lot of these star seeds and souls are connected and I've encountered especially since last month and since all my journey throughout 2022 especially as all the souls that I connected with the star seeds who are still in the darkness who are still in the shadow that they don't realize what they're playing out they still play out the victim the complaint the manipulation to survive wanting to be superior wanting to gain and I feel their suffering and pain right now as I connect and I'm sending love and light and healing 
from my heart space because I genuinely want them to empower themselves because especially the two of them the Set and Zekmet they were in a lot of the dark energies that they were not aware of that they were playing a lot of ego I send unconditional love to all my brothers and sisters to continue on their healing so okay, they can serve Gaia, Source, Earth, Humanity, everyone around us as a safe harbor. Right now, a lot of them, some of them, they still hold lower density energies without them realizing. That's where it came from. I send them unconditional love and healing. Yeshua's here, that Mother Mary lifetime is coming through. The Sirius, the Pallades are here. This is very big energy right now. It's making me cry, that's why it was making me cry. Still, <laughs> but I'm going to share this message because I feel so much love for them. You need to wake up. You need to clear your energy. You need to get out of your ego. You may be harming others unintentionally right now or that you have in the past. That you need to release all these energies to serve Gaia moving forward. In the age of Aquarius, your role is important. Come into the light. Do not run away from your shadow anymore. Embrace it. Face it. Take responsibility for all your creations. So I'm going to light up their crown chakras or your energies so that you gain consciousness to have this awakening, activate this knowing of what you've been playing that you think that you are a spiritual teacher over others that you are in a higher place you need to come down and ground your energy and remove all your egos to be a safe harbor to be a safe home for those who need your support and help you hold special gifts, unique powers. You need to use it for good. No longer to serve the ego anymore. I see these souls who are still playing in the spiritual community. Awaken. Release that ego. Activating your crown. Archangel Gabriel is here. To purify this energy and if you're drawn to Archangel that I also shared I'm guided to mention this that I'm going to share on the patreon which I recorded previous to this you may connect to it on patreon okay you don't have to only if you feel called to always discern with your own heart I love you. No, no conditions. I love you. In all forgiveness, I love you. Under grace. Come fully to who you are. Okay, so that's what I'm, I'm going to stop and make sure it's safe. 
So, but I'm also guided because basically to step onto this new earth energy to continue to raise your vibration with the rising of the frequency on earth at this time, if you are resonating with this, um, you have to continue to release all this karmic ties, karmic playing that you are creating with your beliefs, patterns, thoughts, okay? And if you don't take care of your inner child, it's going to continuously knock on yourself for help. And with this, when this inner child is asking for your help, you no longer want to ignore, but listen, make them feel heard and seen and tender to their needs of timelines and memories where you felt scared, where you felt like you were unheard, unseen, not enough. That's why you may be playing this out of ego unknowingly, unintentionally, and to prioritize your spiritual practice and make sure that you implement and apply this on a day-to-day because when your energy is exerted, exhausted, distracted, it is hard for you to serve Gaia with the purest light and love, okay? So that is what I'm guided to share for the last time, okay? And so tend to your inner child and with this Pluto in Capricorn energy, dropping of the ego is very big right now. As I share, the inner child wound healing, especially first part of the Libra season was the divine masculine, that which we needed to come with the Seraphim Seraphiel energy, with the refined masculine energy. So no longer aggressive, no longer that energy to win, to dominate, to control over others. But to use your masculine power of creation to produce, protect for the highest good of all. And also now, since the 1010 portal with the Pluto and Capricorn going direct, the divine feminine energy of balancing of the equilibrium in Libra season, the energy has been coming through to be refined much more in a delicate way. A level up is the word that is coming that we've been working on, but this is another level up of the refining of the divine masculine, refining of the divine feminine that we are balancing within, finding union within, okay? So that you are to look into all these tendencies to please that created the self-victimization that you expected this person, that partner, that family member, that lovers to be a certain way to provide you something for survival and this created a lot of the mental, emotional manipulation energy rather than appreciation and gratitude and reciprocation in love for their protection and provision okay so basically the kindness was taken for weakness and it was manipulated and used and abused okay this energy has to be cleared and refined and this energy is for everyone regardless of gender so-called in human language term right now okay just i'm just want to make sure okay i'm going to just stop here and say so that you are to continue healing those aspects as it comes through that deep wound of feeling powerless feeling disempowered on a subconscious level that you inherited through your bloodline that you are here to clear break the cycle of that a lot of women in this bloodline in your bloodline has been shut off to speak their needs wants desires speak their truth their voice has been shut off and so they had it 
had to depend on some other sources who they perceive to be powerful or more powerful that created this manipulation energy that is connected to the also sacral and what we are clearing in the entertainment industry that is spreading out through the main stream media we need to continue this streaming of these old timeline energies and so you are to call on to continue to refine that energy and that that codependent energy and blaming energy complaining energy with an assumption in the subconscious that you have no power or choice to change your situation of where you are or who you are or that you dislike who you are right now you don't like who you are the way you are okay continue to embody and embrace all that you are for who you are I also this mentioned this briefly uh, on YouTube stay kind to yourself forgive yourself continuously for all the judgments that you are holding against your own self and therefore forgive others or ask for forgiveness to all the souls that you perhaps may be harmed unintentionally when you are unconscious okay when you do this a lot of the energies of the karmic ties will be cleared and you will be set free from this resonance of energy we call or refer to as attachment at this time there's nothing attaching to you it is your resonance and vibration that is aligned with that energy okay so you hold the key you have the power to shift at any time any moment it is your will and determination okay that is your strength you are the best resource okay this is what i'm guided to share okay so this energy is very big and intense so um with this I'm going to send lots of love, okay? And also remind you that you are not alone and you've always been with a lot of support. And if you're especially dealing with grief and depression, okay, I'm just going to save it. You can choose to um, work with the energy of the dragons and the archangels that I um, recorded the video of. Okay, in the description box down below, okay. Um, but just like anything, never force yourself. At this time, especially, you have to be very mindful. We all have to be very mindful of not playing the ego, of force, uh, of pushing or pushing through and trying to control, trying to prove to feel superior okay so that I'm just mentioning this for anyone who's going to need it so with that I'll see you in the next video guys thank you for being here and connecting sending you lots of love bye